Madeline Duncan was a singer who always sang in nightclubs to survive. Her dream of a successful career went wrong, and she ended up finishing her career in nightclubs where she did some performances in Chicago. The girl's family lived in the countryside and never agreed with the uncertain adventurous lifestyle she led, and neither was Madeline completely happy. One day Madeline met Leroy, a customer at the bar where she sang. He gave Madeline a life that was the dream of many women and became Madeline's dream too. A home, a stable life, and true love. Leroy brought a life that Madeline never imagined having. Despite being heavily discriminated against by the boy's family, they were happy and had a son, little Elijah. The couple's life seemed to be going well, but returning from a business trip, Leroy died in a car accident. Elijah was only two years old, and life was totally ungrateful to mother and son after that. Leroy's family was powerful and made a point of taking everything from Madeline. As a widow, she had no right to anything, and later it was discovered that Elijah was not Leroy's biological son, so things got much worse. In fact, when Madeline met Leroy, she was looking for a man to raise her son because she was afraid of being a single mother. She just didn't imagine that her fraud would end up being discovered in this way. Madeline had nothing and returned to singing in nightclubs. Madeline's family took her in and asked her to come back home to the countryside, but living together was not easy. Madeline and her parents argued a lot, and after some time, she decided to return to Chicago to sing, but now with a difference, she had a son. Definitely over time, Madeline left Elijah more and more abandoned. She took endless shifts as a waitress and singer in a bar, and most of the time the boy was alone. One or two neighbors were the ones who used to help the boy when he needed it. Madeline started drinking heavily and became an alcoholic. That's why it was common for her to disappear for days on end, leaving Elijah alone at home. Sometimes he ate at the neighbor's house, but the fact is that the years went by and Elijah learned to fend for himself very early on. At just 10 years old, he already knew how to take care of himself. He cooked, washed, and ironed his own clothes. But things started to get worse. In addition to almost never being at home and still drinking heavily, Madeline also started meeting boyfriends who were guys who were usually violent, lazy, and equally alcoholic. The fights at home were constant and Elijah could no longer stand that life. He loved his mother, but he finally knew that he was already stopping living because of her, so the young man decided to leave home at just 15 years old. Elijah worked as a waiter, deliver a man, and all of this in parallel with school. He lived in the back of a bar where he worked as a cleaner. However, Elijah never stopped studying. He loved the computer science field and one of the many jobs he did to support himself was to fix computers. Despite everything, Elijah was a very diligent student and managed to make his own way to change the situation he was in. Elijah got a scholarship to college for systems development and worked and studied hard to support himself. He stayed away from his mother all this time. They talked once in a while, but he and Madeline were distant. The rest of the family was very proud of Elijah, but they lived far away and usually talked to him over the internet or during Elijah's vacations when he visited his grandparents. One day Elijah found an abandoned German Shepherd. It was a puppy, but it was badly injured. Elijah took it to the vet and took on even more computer repairs so he could pay the vet bill. The vets worked hard and managed to save little Finley. From small, Finley became giant and Elijah's best friend. Since he lived alone, Finley became his companion. Time passed and Elijah's reality changed completely. That poor little boy abandoned by his mother became the best student in his class. Soon Elijah got an internship at a large corporation and then got a job in the systems development area. 
Finley was with him since his journey as a faithful friend. Many times Finley was by Elijah's side in the early mornings he spent studying. Elijah stopped buying food for himself to buy Finley's food. In Elijah's solitary university life, Finley became his only companion. Elijah prospered. With the salary he earned, he could buy a big house with a huge yard for Finley to play in. He lived alone. Elijah had some relationships and even an engagement, but it didn't work out. The fact is that 10 years had passed since Elijah had found Finley. However, age began to catch up with the German Shepherd and some illnesses too. In recent times, Finley received news from the vet that left him in shock. Meanwhile, in the 10 years that had passed, Elijah and Madeline had little contact. Madeline continued to live her life full of adventures, but after a while, she finally met Christopher. A good man, widower, and able to give Madeline a peaceful life. The woman was afraid that her past would come to light and afraid of being abandoned, she hid from Christopher the fact that she had a son. She knew of Elijah's revolts and was afraid that he would say something about her past to Christopher. She married Christopher, and he had a son named Brian. Since then, Madeline hid from her son, afraid that he would find out something about her marriage. But a year later, in a conversation with his cousin, Elijah learned of his mother's marriage and that he wasn't even invited. Of course, he was very upset about the situation, but he didn't want to make a scene. After all, Madeline had not been a part of his life for a long time and he was not a part of hers. Elijah already had a lot on his plate and the vet had given him the news that Finley needed urgent surgery that would cost $10,000 plus $7,000 in medication and another $5,000 in follow-up exams costing around $22,000. Elijah was scared by the cost, but he had a good salary and he could afford it. He would have to tighten his belt a bit, but nothing that would compromise him as his salary in the IT field was really good. He was independent and lived alone and he would do everything possible to make the last years of his best friend Finley's life the best possible. After all, the dog was already 10 years old. One day Elijah received a call from his mother, saying that Brian, Christopher's son, needed surgery that would cost around $15,000. Madeline was embarrassed, but she justified it by saying that Christopher was a very good man and she was afraid he would leave her if he knew she had a child. Elijah told her that he was sorry for the boy, but that at the moment he could not help her. Even with Madeline's insistence, Elijah said that at the moment he was not able to help. Elijah had all kinds of resentment towards his mother, but it was not the child's fault what was happening, but Finley's treatment was already costing him a lot of money and he would not have the means to spend more, but of course he did not tell Madeline that, in fact, he didn't owe her any explanations about it. Even trying not to talk about Finley's treatment, Madeline ended up finding out everything through one of Elijah's cousins about the dog's treatment and the amount he would spend. The woman was furious, tried to call her son, but he was already sleeping. After that, she sent several messages cursing her son with various names, and in the last message she said, You have no heart, Elijah, a child is dying and you want to save a dog, I don't know how you can be like this. When Elijah woke up, he saw all the messages and calls because he chose the dog instead of his half-brother, whom he didn't know existed until a few days ago. Elijah only replied to his mother, Yes, yes, that dog meant the world to me for a long time, and I will do everything I can for him. Brian means nothing to me. You got married without even telling me because you don't want your husband to know that I exist. Perfect. If I don't exist in your perfect little life, then why are you asking me for money? Your stepson is not my responsibility. I wouldn't give you $15,000 even if I had it because you are not important enough for me to save that kind of money. 
How long has it been since you cared about me? Three years? Four? And now you want to ask me for money? No. After that, Elijah blocked his mother. The whole family was against Elijah after his decision, but he was firm in what he did. After all, nobody stood by him when he needed help the most, and it was only Finley who was with him when no one else was. What do you think of Elijah's decision, my friends? What would you have done in his place? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to stay up to date on all our videos that air from Monday to Friday. See you in the next video.